Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at trigonometric ratios and its outcome T3. This is going to be the first of three videos so we're going to look at this. Now in this one here I want you just first to recall that uh, theta is referring to the arc length. P theta is defined by a point where it's an x and y coordinates. And over here we've got our P, this is sitting on our unit circle. So this line from here to here is going to be of length 1, uh, that refers to the radius. So really this line from here to here also is 1. Uh, now this we're going to mark our angle, this is theta. And the distance from here is x and the distance from here to there is y. And this is the right angle triangle that's created for us. So we're going to use our trigonometric ratios, which are sine, cos, and tan. We're familiar with so ka toa. And in the unit circle, we've got sine theta equals y over 1, because the radius is going to be 1. Cos theta is x over 1. And tan theta is y over x. Now, if we uh, simplify each one of these, we can just say that sine theta is y on the unit circle, cos theta is x, and tan theta equals sine theta over cos theta. Now, any point on the unit circle can be described using this, and you've seen we've done this a few times in uh, some examples before. We're going to start looking at uh, writing our answers in terms of the primary functions, which are sine, cos, and tan. We're also going to look at the reciprocal functions, which are cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So basically, cosecant is 1 divided by sine theta, and then we end up with 1 over y. Secant is 1 over cos theta, which is cos over, sorry, 1 over cos theta, and cotangent is 1 over tan theta. Or you could also say it's cos over sine. So pretty much whatever answer you get for here, we want the reciprocal for our cosecant, secant, and cotangent. So our, we're going to be looking at six uh, primary trig ratios instead of just the three. All right, in this question here, it says the point 5 over 13, comma, negative 12 over 13 lies on the terminal arm of an angle theta in standard position. Now, there's a couple of things we need to note here. We need to note that cosine is positive, so you see the sine in front of this value here, the x value is positive, and sine is negative. So the y value here in this coordinate point is negative. Uh, we need to make sure that we are aware of where it's going to be on our graph. So let's draw a quick diagram of what this, how this is represented. So our, term, our initial arm is here, and then so we start our angle. We need to show our arc is going to go, and let's say it goes to right about here. Uh, if the point lies right there, we could draw a line and indicate that, indicate that this is P theta. So we need to write the six trigonometric ratios for theta. All right, so we need to make sure we have all of the x and y and r values. So what is our sine theta? So sine theta we can get directly from this point over here. So you see here how this first one, this is going to be our cosine. So that's cosine. And this is going to be our sine theta. All right, so there we're going to get our answers from here, and we need to just make sure we've got our positive and negative written correctly. So sine theta is simply negative 12 over 13. Uh, cos theta is going to be, just look up at the point above, it's going to be 5 over 13. And tan theta is going to be negative. 12 over 13. So it's going to be the opposite over the adjacent. That's why I wrote out what they are here, so we can pick the appropriate one for tan. And simply for the reciprocals, we're just going to take each one of these values and we're going to flip it over. Just write the reciprocal. Okay, so cosecant is negative 13 over 12. Secant theta is 13 over 5, and cotangent is just going to be the reciprocal of tangent, which is negative 5 over 12. And I've made a mistake here, so let's turn back in time a little bit. 
and change that 13 to a 5 that I wrote right here. Okay, so that should be a 5. Sorry for any confusion. All right, I should have grabbed, you see right here, the adjacent, the 5, and the opposite, the negative 12. Okay, so now here in this one, we're going to look at the point negative 3 over 5 and 4 over 5 lies on the terminal arm of angle theta in standard position. Again here, this is our cosine theta, and this is going to be our sine theta. And let's just do a quick sketch of what this is going to look like. So our x value is negative and our y value is positive. So we're going to end up somewhere here, and let's just kind of estimate where it's going to be. And if I get straight edge, I can draw a nicer line. Okay, and here's my arc that represents where my angle starts and finishes. Make sure you are drawing this arc, folks. They take off a half mark if you don't. P theta, label it as P theta. And so, we can continue on to the next part, which says, write all six trig ratios. Okay, so sine is, you just get it from the y value of the point above. I don't need that bracket there. Well, I don't know why I did that. And then negative three over five for the cos. Now our tan is going to be, and I'll, I'll do this one here. We'll go four over five divided by negative three over five. So tan theta is actually, um, if I go 4 over 5 times the reciprocal of the denominator, I can go negative 5 over 3, and I get the answer of, see this 5 cancels out here, negative 4 over 3. Okay, so this is tan theta. This is the answer right there. Okay, now for cosecant, secant, and cotangent, just take those ones to the left and flip them over. Flip them right on their heads, upside down, well, reciprocal really. And so this one's going to be negative 3 over 4. And there are your six trig ratios. All right, done. Wasn't that fun? Okay, now go do some homework.